Today, I'm speaking with Shamila, the main author of our recently published Smart Factories report. Now, what's really interesting, I think most of us really, really want to know is uh, why that topic matters. Yes, Wang, the Smart Factories Insight report is an organic progression of our earlier research on Industry 4.0 and Smart Factoring, respectively. Smart factories uh, help manufacturers utilize the power of data and technology together to empower their employees to make products better and also to improve the efficiency of their processes amongst others. So there are many organizations and companies around the world that are leading this transformation. And it is really interesting to see various strategies unfold into successful smart factories. So with that in mind, we have curated this report to help our readers understand the dynamics involved in setting up a smart factory for success. Thank you for that reply. So the next question, and I think what is the main question and the main reason why we want to watch this video is, what are some of the key takeaways you could share with us? Yeah, sure. So thanks to Industry 4.0, factories are becoming smarter, they're becoming flexible, and they're becoming more agile to adapt quickly to modern consumer demands. This is an inevitable transformation, and manufacturers of all shapes and sizes must transform to sustain competition in the long term. The term smart factory is usually used to define a production facility or a factory uh, which uses IoT technology like cloud, analytics, artificial intelligence, etc. to accomplish certain goals like increasing productivity, reducing machine downtime, etc. The focus is mostly around the technology aspect but it is important to recognize the significance of intangible aspects as well. So we define smart factory as a holistic transformation of people, processes, and technology along with the power of data uh, to achieve certain business goals of the production facility. So there are three main components as I say, the intangible components that I said, they are people, process, and technology. So a smart factory strategy has to take into consideration the synergies between uh, these three, uh, the mainly, namely the people, the processes and the technology, and also the factory's current digital maturity while setting smart factory goals. So it is important to note that all factories have different characteristics, different goals, and hence different strategies for their factories. For example, uh, the goals and or the use cases, technologies, etc., everything which is deployed in an oil refinery will not be the same as that of an automotive manufacturing plant. And to capture this mesh of, of diversity, we have identified eight goals group them into three categories, namely operational goals, commercial goals, and research and development goals. The diversity of factories is, is captured under the production characteristics, which is usually on a top level, it is characterized like process, industries, discrete industries, and hybrid industries. So we've gone a level deeper, and we've characterized them into product, process and people characteristics. So with that set up in mind, we dive deep into 10 smart factories around the world across different industries, starting from apparel manufacturing, automotive manufacturing, and food and beverage. So it's really interesting to see how these different companies have successfully strategized and implemented smart factories. So in each of these case studies, we capture the diversity in production characteristics, goals, use cases, technologies in depth, uh, and see how they have actually uh, realized the use case. Uh, so, so giving our reader an opportunity to appreciate the length and breadth of smart factories and maybe even inspired. Thank you for your insights. That was a wonderful last sentence. So this marks the end of this video. If uh, you want to know more about this topic, we publish a blog post on our website, so feel free to visit that. 
if there are any more questions, feel free to use our contact form and get in touch with us. We will get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks for watching.